Hello, today we're going to be showing you how to terminate a Direct Connect CAT6 insert. As you can see, I have the CAT6 insert here, as well as a CAT6 cable that's already been stripped and ready uh, for termination. If you'd like to see how to do this, please look at the Direct Connect video on CAT5 stripping. The CAT5 and CAT6 cable are identical, with the exception that CAT6 cable has a higher gauge cable is a little bit stiffer and is designed for higher data speeds. One thing that I did as well, and you can do this if, if you, once you strip it, you may notice the wire may be a little bit twisted still, even after you untwist the pairs. And you can take a screwdriver or a pin or anything you'd like and just rub it along the wire to make it straighter. This will help make it easier for installation. Now the insert, if you look here, you can see on this side has a blue and blue and white sticker and a brown and brown and white sticker. This is where the blue and white, blue, brown and brown and white wires go. On the other side you have two strips of colors. Well, why is that? Well this is where the green and green and white and orange and orange and white, orange and white wires go. The reason why you have two is because you have two standards, A and B. We recommend version B, it stands for 568 A and B, uh, because version B is better for higher speed data rates over longer distances. However, you can use whichever one you wish. The important thing to remember when you're doing a big job is to make sure all of them are wired the same way. Otherwise, you can have problems with your network connections. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to use a Direct Connect tool to terminate the entire keystone at one time. The first thing is you have to lay the wires into the inserts. And essentially here you just want to lay them down so they're nice and even on top of the keystone insert. I'm going to start on the brown and white and blue and white sides. So basically I just lay the wire in place right at the edge and I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to put the brown wire in and tuck it in place and then do the same thing with the brown and white wire. If the wire comes out, just go back and reinsert it. This is just to place the wire. The tool is going to do all the magic for you. Okay. Now on the other side, you notice you've got once again the two colors. I'm going to do the bottom color because that's what B is. So I'm going to put the orange and, orange and white in first. I'm going to give you a close-up of what I've done. If you look here, you'll see that all the wires are tucked in place and they're all corresponding to the correct colors where they're supposed to be. So now the next step is to take your Direct Connect tool. There's a little die in place. So what you do is you put it in upside down and you want to seat it in all the way until it fits flush in the back. And then you crimp down on the tool. See it cuts all the wires. And you remove it. And look up closely, you can see your keystone jack is completely terminated properly. And you have a little cover. I recommend you always do that. That helps seat the wires in place and keeps them firmly in place for when you're doing your installation. And this just snaps right on top. 